G'day Mr. Fitz here, hope you're going well. This short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to model the first stage of our trike stands. So it's a really good tutorial for you to learn some new tools and have a go at modelling our existing trike stands. Okay, I'm going to start with the legs. So let's start with a standard part file. So just double check it's in millimetres and go create. Should load up a new file here. Okay, as with anything, let's start with a sketch. Now, I'm going to start by sketching out a profile of the side leg because these come up on an angle. So I'm going to choose, in fact, I'm going to start by just drawing a circle. So this is like the tube that we're going to use. So let's choose this plane here and let's draw a circle in here. So I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to dimension it and this is 25 mil round tube. So let's finish this sketch. Now I'm going to create a side profile of our leg. So I'm actually going to go and do another sketch. Anytime in here, those original planes still exist in the model. So I'm going to choose the XY plane, which is perpendicular to that plane. Sketch. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw the side profile of the leg. So grab a line. Now, from the center of your circle, zoom out and draw your leg up like this. So there, that is my leg. Now, I'm going to complete this and draw it like the full profile. So click there and then click back like a full loop. That should look like a full loop. Now, all I really want in this particular sketch, if you just rotate this, so click the shift key and middle mouse button, all I care for is this bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click through. Yeah, I'm just doing a video. That's right. I'll, I'll back in a sec. Cheers. So these three lines here, I'm just going to make them construction so one two three construction now a few things i'm going to also add here i'm going to make an equal constraint because i want this line and this line to be equal that's going to represent essentially the two legs now i'm going to put some dimensions on here i've checked the designs and i know that the leg vertically is 600 millimeters so i'm going to put in a 600 millimeter dimension Also, from bottom of the leg to the bottom of the leg, it is 420 millimeters. So that's done there. And across the top, it is going to be 190 millimeters. So now you can see that that should turn blue. Again, I've sketched these here so I get the right dimensions of this leg. I can now finish my sketch. So I've got two sketches in the model. Double check, 25 mil circle and that line there. Now I'm going to use a tool here you might have not used before. It's called a sweep. And this requires two things, a profile, which is a cross section. So that's going to pick up this circle. By default, it's picked up that automatically. And the path, which is a path that's going to sweep along, which is that line there. Now this is automatic. For some reason, it's picked it all up and I'm going to go OK. So that there is my angled leg. Okay, next bit, I'm gonna build the bridge across here. So what I'm gonna do, I've gotta create another plane in my model. So if I open up my sweep, I'm actually going to make this sketch visible. So if you right click this sketch and make visible, I wanna still keep seeing this. I'll show you why in a sec. Now I'm gonna create a plane. So go to plane. And I'm going to go parallel to plane through point. What this requires is a plane. So I'm going to choose an appropriate plane. Now I want the this plane here. YZ plane. And I want a point. So in this case, I'm going to grab the point at the end of my line there. So you can see that's built a plane that runs on that point to so the center of that top circle and is parallel to that original plane. Sweet. I can sketch on this plane now. So I'm gonna build a sketch. And right up in the guts here, I can now draw a circle. So 
circle dimension this this is going to be 25 millimeters this is my tube i'm not going to bother in this case to make this hollow it just adds a lot of detail for the sake of it i'm just going to keep it like that finish my sketch now i'm going to extrude this sketch so click extrude click on the profile and i'm going to actually click on this one here so i want to go 190 you see that will get me to that point there but what i also want to do is i want to extend it a bit further in the other direction so i want to actually run my steel further through and i'm going to make that say 25 where does that get me yep that's good it overlaps my steel this is going to be what we're going to actually build and weld the so 25 and 190 if i can probably get away with 20 it's a bit neater and go okay Beautiful. Now, the 190 as well, sorry. If I just fix that, go edit feature. I actually want to go 20 mil past that. So it's even on both sides. So it's going to be 210. I'll do my maths correctly. And that should be correct. Now, one thing I've got to do, I've just realized, when I did my second extrusion, I actually want this to be a separate solid. So if I right click on my extrusion and go edit feature, when you build another extrusion, you get this option here, which is a new solid. If you don't click on this, what will happen is that this will join to this particular piece of steel or this particular shape. And I don't want to do that in this instance. I want to actually click on new solid. Click on that and go okay. What that does is you straight away, you can see here, this solid bodies now has two solid bodies. So these are two separate solids in my model. That's what I want. Now, next step, I'm going to build another plane. And this plane is called mid-plane between two planes. And this is a cool tool. So if I click on this end face and this end face, it builds a plane dead center, which should be dead center to my part. So, yep, beautiful. That looks good. Next, I'm going to do a mirror. And I'm going to choose pattern solids. This means I can mirror a solid. And I'm going to choose that solid there. And then I'm going to click on the mirror plane. It's going to be my center plane. And you see when I press OK, it's going to build that solid there. That's a really easy way to build a part that's symmetrical. Whatever you can in CAD, try to make things easy and build things symmetrically. Okay. Cardinal rule here, which I should have done earlier, is save my part when I started. I haven't done that. Make sure you go back in and save. So I'm going to put this in a folder and I'm going to call this legs. Great. So that's the first part there. You can imagine that's three pieces of steel all cut, shaved or filed and prepared and welded. That's one of my legs. Cool. Next part. File, new. So think about these as components. So let's create a new component and I'm going to build the wooden body. Now, eventually you guys are going to actually redesign this, but I'm going to, for the starters, show you how to model this whole design existing. So from my measurements, I'm going to create a rectangle. Now, in this case, I urge you, wherever you can, use the rectangle two point center. This, I can click on the center point of my part and build like so. And this keeps my planes in my part around the center. That really helps me when I want to constrain things. So dimension, add dimensions, this is 90. This is 35, standard size timber. Finish. Okay, now I'm going to extrude this. And what I'm going to do, I like to make things symmetrical. So click on symmetry and 900 okay if you want to get fancy now you can go in and change the color to be a wood uh, let's make it oak so it looks like a piece of timber and save this part here so i'm going to call this i don't know the body or the platform perhaps up to you save the part great 
Now, I'm actually going to start to assemble this now. That's going to start to get you to visualize how this thing looks, and then you can start building the remaining components. So let's create a new file. I'm going to create an assembly. So standard assembly create. Now in an assembly here, we can place our first component and I'm going to place the platform I've just built. So platform, just chuck it in the park, click once and that there's the platform. Press escape, get out of that. Now let's place our legs. So I've got legs here and I'm going to put two of these in. So one and two, press escape. You can see inside these models here, I've got things like planes still visible. If I right click and open these parts, I can always go in and right click and turn off the visibility of these planes. So that sketches in there as well. Turn off the visibility of that. This plane, turn off the visibility. Go back to my assembly and it looks a little neater. So there we go. You can see now this is starting to take a bit of shape. So you've got two legs as a plat and a platform on top. Okay, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build the remaining components. So there's a number of brackets, and obviously we're going to put some holes in this and some screws, and we'll start to get this assembly together and apply some constraints. This is the first tutorial. Again, if you get stuck as per all my videos, just go back a step, take your time, and if you're really stuck, come and see Mr. Fitz.